Hey guys, and welcome to the first ever episode of my brand new series I'm releasing right now, at this right moment guys I cannot believe it we've just finally got started it's been a couple of weeks now I've been trying to sort it all out um, and we're finally starting it off as you all know the Crystal Palace RTG is just not getting along as what I thought it would and I thought you know what it's time to stop it it's just not working out as what I thought it would so if you want to check all the other obviously the episodes of that that's a link there's a link down below for that but apart from that we are back for our first ever episode of uh, the Pact to Perfection. Now this is all based around packs guys. Every single game guys, um, you start with two packs. So you have to open two packs, doesn't matter what. So what it is, you have to roll the die. If you land on a one, it's a normal bronze pack. If you land on a two, you get a premium bronze pack. If you land on a three, you get a normal silver pack. If you land on a four, you land on a premium silver pack. Five is normal gold and six is premium gold. As we all know, there's other promo packs that will be coming out in the weeks, obviously, to come. And we will be opening them later on. But for now, that's how it's all going to work. The rules are on the side, as you can see there. Um, our aim is to get to, to Division 1, which is going to be really, really exciting. Because I know, if from the luck I've got other packs in packs at the moment, I might be able to get there. Because the players I've been getting on other accounts have been ridiculous, guys. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see what we can pick our hands up. Because I know for sure this series might be really, really interesting the way our or well, the way our pack luck goes because at the moment pack luck for me is brilliant as you can see on the screen though um, we did start off a nice little starter pack we managed to get Diamante and he's actually not a bad player overall and he'll be one of the sort of players I want to start off with just to kick me off and start getting some goals in the back of the net and really start this team off really nicely um, he used to be a really really good player a, lot, uh, a couple of years ago as we all know and hopefully he can do it we managed to get Neustadt a defensive midfielder and we managed to get some sort of some sort of Liga 1 left back which will be handy for now um, and as you can see on the, uh, the screen right now you've got a couple of these are the packs as you can see there you've got your normal bronze you've got your premium bronze and what makes this going to be really really cool is that you're going to get episodes where we're going to get really really good luck on the, the dice our rolls where we could get just gold straight away or we might have episodes where we might just get bronze straight away so it's going to make it more interesting and I'm hoping to dear gods we can pick up a couple of informed silvers and informed bronzes in the other lower packs but as we all know we're going to be hopefully really going for them big gold packs because they're going to have them sort of players we're looking for as you can see they do have a couple of promo packs and we'll hopefully be opening them in a couple um, of episodes time because there'll be more coming out as we all know because it's the start of a brand new year so happy new year to everyone by the way um, and I've obviously as you can see on the screen um, as you see as you saw before um, it had a nice little start of squad and I'm hoping to dear god we can start off with a really big bang because I'm just hoping that with the team we got there we've got a couple of bronzes here and there um, hopefully we can really boost it and really start it off but as you can see division 10 is to start um, it's going to be hard getting started because I know it's going to be a lot of decent squads out at the moment and that was my main sh uh, sort of negative trying to get going into this one of them sort of points I've really got to think about because as we all know division 10 is not what I really thought it would be it's not just bronze teams or normal silver teams or started silver teams because now it's obviously been a while FIFA 16 has been out for a while we're going to be coming across some big big goal teams so I need to be aware of that and I'm hoping to dear god I can really get some decent players in our first couple of packs we're going to go for the roll guys I'm hoping to dear god we can really get something decent um, I'm hoping we can really get someone overall but we managed to get ourselves a number three guys and that stands for a normal silver pack so I'm hoping in this normal silver pack we can get someone just average just to get started on and we managed to get a decent few little two English um, we managed to get an English left midfielder and an English defensive midfielder so I'm hoping I can probably get them in there maybe get a little bit of chemistry going we had another defensive midfielder from I think it was Liga 2 there um, he was some African dude so I'm hoping to dear god he might be alright can get something going um, had a load of contracts in there and I'm also hoping that Hope we can get some decent club items um, in these packs as well. Just a nice, just to raise just the quality of the club up as well. So that was that first pack. It wasn't too bad at all getting started. It's always nice to go for the silver packs and the low bronze packs just to get it started. Because what's the point of them when you get further on in the series? Because we'll be getting on with some decent players. And we won't have to use all these little silvers and bronzes. So we managed to get a number, I think it was number 5. Um, which was really really nice a normal gold getting started which is really really nice 
Uh, and this is what happened, guys. This is the pack right here. We managed to pick up a nice little French uh, centre midfielder from Kante. Obviously, not what everybody thought it would be. It wasn't going to be a premium or anything. It's only a normal normal uh, gold. But at the moment, these three normal golds were come, coming handy really, really well. Uh, we managed to get Trochowski from the Bundesliga, which is really, really nice. And we managed to get some sort of attacking midfielder from Argentina. I think it was called Gonzalez or some sort from River Plate. But um, it's going to be really nice at the moment. Oh, anyone's... Um, Anyone obviously better than a bronze for now is going to obviously still going to come in handy. It doesn't matter where they're from. Chemistry at the moment, I'm not really too bored at the moment because I just want to get some sort of decent quality team out on the park. Um, and I'm hoping to dear God we can really get something going with these players we did pick up. And I'm hoping we can get something going with Kante and Diamante, knowing the fact that they're both in the same league, which is really, really nice. Um, so there's the play. We're going to be throwing them into the squad for now. Just get everybody in there. Really kind of fiddle around with the team. Fiddle around the formation. Try and get something going going here um, as I said chemistry is not a matter just try and get the best players out of the park for now because I know they're gonna just change everything up uh, and that's what we got so we did get a few decent players managed to get a left midfielder which would be quite nice getting started managed to get a few decent uh, defensive midfielders and I'm just hoping for now we can get something so we can link up to the striker and link up to the midfield and I'm hoping we got we do have Neustadter in there so we can maybe link him up with Trochowski maybe get a bit of German in there um, we got a bit of English in there, we've got a couple of Liga 1 players and we've got a bit of Premier League in there. So if we're around the formation, I thought, you know what, let's go with probably, um, I don't know what formation I went with to be honest, I can't bloody remember. Um, but that's the formation we did end up going with. We went for the defensive midfielder, a striker, two central midfielders, a left mid, right mid and four at the back with a goalkeeper. Um, I thought, you know, I'm going to leave the Argentinian out for now. Even though he's a better rating, I thought I'll put him on the bench. He's not going to get any chemistry with everybody else. He's a bit of a waste. I know he's a quality player, but just chuck him on the bench. We can bring him on during a couple of games in time. And um, yeah, that's the team. So just fiddle around, putting all the players on the bench, a couple of silvers here and there. Uh, we've got left mid obviously in the mo at the moment. We do have Kante in the centre mid. We do have Neustadt in the defensive mid. And we've got centre mid with Trochowski. Just so we get that little bit of German link up. And then we've got Diamante the striker. So we try and link him up with Mr. Kante. Known for a fact that if we can get that going. We might be able to get a bit of passes going. Really nice little passes. A nice bit of movement around the midfield with them two. Them, them four in fact. So that's the team. It's not too bad it's getting started. I'm just hoping to dear God in um, the next couple of episodes. Um, we can really bring out some decent players. Um, but this is the team we did end up coming across. It was a nice Bundesliga squad. We're only going to play one game for now. Um, obviously, it's just an intro, this sort of episode. But this is the team we did have. So we had a couple of silvers up front. We had Ez1. I'm not sure who the other silvers are. I think it was Kadlec in striker, which was pretty decent. And we had a load, of, a load of other Bundesliga players. We had Ulrich in goal, which is meant to be the next Neuer, apparently, for Germany, other than Trapp. Um, so I was a bit aware of him in goal, but apart from that, I was just so so aware of that them three silvers up front. And we did start off with a bit of a bang, guys, coming down this this hand side with Diamante, and he just whacks it into the back of the net. Um, overall, this game was really really good. It was a really entertaining game on our hands. Um, we were we were really we were, we were, we were really playing really really well. We were playing um, up there with. On one of the best performances for Division 10 side. We were playing really, really well. We really put him on the ropes at the start of the game. We were just putting him on the deck all the time. Each time he got the ball, we were just in his face all the time. And the defence played really, really well. He does end up scoring, though, which made it one all, which was a bit of a shame because I thought as though we could have really made this game make a 4 0, 5 0 absolute clean sweep because we were all over this guy. He just didn't know what to do. I can see why he was in Division 10 because he just was not a great player at all. Um, and that's where we're going to come across the whole, I think, division, is, uh, to be honest, guys. We're going to be coming across really, really solid teams. But for a matter of fact, they're not going to be great players. And that's going to really show off in this this um, division. So we do get on through again. Diamante and Kante playing really, really well. That's what I really wanted. We're getting shots here and there. Um, we managed to get close, really, really close with Kante a couple of times. Diamante just absolutely killing out the up front. He played really, really well today. Um, and we managed to get really, really close again. I don't know who that was, but... 
by that. It was a really good effort. We managed to get a free kick getting into the getting really close to half time. Um, we were really breaking on through, putting him on the deck, and he really did try to put us on the deck. So he did end up putting, the, putting us on the deck at one stage. Managed to get a free kick. I swapped over to Diamante. Did not think he would put it in the back of the net, but he ended up putting it in the back of the net, and it ended up being 2 1. And what an absolute cracker it was from the Italian. Honestly, guys, if you haven't checked this guy out, he is brilliant to start off with on FIFA. He is absolutely brilliant for a centre forward. You can play him in striker, attacking mid. Um, he is just brilliant. And you can obviously send him forward but overall for an attacking midfielder guys or just attacking player in general he is absolutely brilliant and he's that sort of player really really needed just to kick start this little um, series and what a start it was so a nice little performance there made it uh, I think 2-1 going into half time and we were performing really really well and honestly guys I did not think it was going to be like this look at the stats on paper guys we were absolutely killing him um, but honestly them shots weren't what normal shots you'd be thinking a lot of them was over the fence a lot of them so we managed to break on to the second half and managed to get a penalty it was a really really nice finish there mr by by mr diamante and he did end up getting his hat trick it was an absolute brilliant performance by diamante for the start of the series and that's what we want something to really get us going really boost us into the series because i know for sure if we play like this guys we could really break on through the Division 1 and really break on through these divisions like Division 9, Division 8 because they're going to be a bit of a struggle again with getting along with this sort of team. But at the moment, guys, they're performing really, really well against a sort of team like that. That's what you want to be seeing. Um, and honestly, what a performance it was by Diamante and Kante. Something to really keep an eye out. Um, and obviously, the centre mids, they performed really, really well. Trichowski and Neustadter. And also... I've also got to say, I've got also got to call out to the four, to the four at the back, which is the left back, two centre backs and the right back. They performed really, really nicely at the back against a very, very solid premium silver attack. Um, so that was that. That was that, guys. We ended up winning 3-1. Diamante managed to get man of the match. Um, three goals by him, which is absolutely brilliant performance. Everybody else performed really, really well, and it's really nice, good boost going into the next couple of games. Known for a fact, we've got some more packs to open in the next couple of episodes, and I'm hoping, dear God, we can really pick up some big players. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you really do like the sound of this um, RTG or this sort of series as such. It's going to go really, really far. I know for sure it will. I'm enjoying it. First episode was absolutely brilliant. It's really exciting. Um, and I'm um, honestly hoping we can really bring out a couple more episodes in a couple more days guys So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure to check out other series and other episodes Please make sure to check out the last episode of the German squad build. That's really really nice. That's going along very very nicely and um, Guys, I'll check you. I'll, I'll catch you all guys next time. Cheers guys